And welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. I am Tyler Carmen, alongside Rob Hastings. Tonight we are in Fort Morgan as the visiting Brush Beat Diggers get ready to take on their cross-county rival, the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Rob, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. That's good. Good to hear. <laughs> Still alive and kicking. Yeah. A beautiful I, uh, night for football. It is cool. beautiful. I think we're going to have a little bit better luck weather-wise as last week. Uh, regular listeners will definitely recall a 90-minute lightning weather delay that uh, was uh, was fairly rough on the brush speed diggers. They didn't come out with near the intensity uh, in that second half as they did in the first half. Our captains out there for the diggers, Nick Wellen, Melvin Hernandez, and Luke Seawald. The 2018 Beat Digger starting lineup is brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Mobile banking on the go makes banking easier for you when you're on the go. So go and check it out today. Brush Beat Diggers will start number 5, Caden Schwint. Number 12, Alejandro Maltos Garcia. Number 14, Luke Seawald. Number 21, Nick Wellen. Number 60, Jesus Argoff. Number 65, Dominic Ontiveros. Number 74, Jalen Martinez. Number 77, Servando Herrera. Number 79, Joshua Cantu. Number 80, es- Edgar Escalante. And number seven, or number 87, excuse me, Caden Moriarty. Beat Diggers are coached by Lance Schwint in his third year, assisted by Travis Lefevre, Larry Mills, and Ace Wellen. Bradley Bass is also the Brush Beat Digger athletic director the Fort Morgan Mustangs, coached by Ty Davies, will start number 8, Briggs Wheatley, number 9, Leo Luna, number 11, Noah Lopez, number 23, Christopher Schneider, number 25, Jacob Ortega, number 40, Ernie Sandoval, number 52, Miko Yanez, number 54, Gabriel Vickers, number 55, Juan Chavez, number 73, Brian Paxson, and number 75, Nick Norris. Okay, captains today for the Mustangs is uh, Caden Edson, Jacob Ortega, Brian Paxton, and Nick Norris. For the Beat Diggers, I think we mentioned those, Luke Seawald, Melvin Hernandez, and Nick Wellen. Mustangs are going to receive the kick. They'll be defending the goal to our left, which is kind of into the uh, northwest. This field sets a little different than about any I've ever been in. It does. It definitely (laughs) does. Look right down the street over there, and so it's kind of northwest to southwest, or east, excuse me. It's a little different. Pete Diggers in their gold pants, cardinal leggings and helmets, white uniforms with the uh, cardinal colors, or numbers on there, which is nice. We can see them pretty well. Yep, same with the Fort Morgan Mustangs. They'll be wearing the black pants, black helmets, black jerseys with white numbers. A lot easier to see than the Wiggins color scheme, I would say. Yeah, they got those fancy deals that uh, we were talking about earlier. Good salesman comes out, and they look beautiful inside with a lot of lights, but when you're 100 yards away, they're yep. tough to see. Hard to look at. Okay, we're about to get set. It'll be, oh boy. Number uh, 8, Briggs Wheatley, and number 25, Jacob Ortega, back to receive for the Mustangs. They're set up about the 10-yard line. The uh, Diggers kicker, I can't see his number. I think it's number one. Andrew Man- or no, I'm sorry, Keegan Link. Yeah, Keegan out there. And we're almost ready to get it underway. Yeah. And the kick is off. He's going to go to Briggs Wheatley at about the 15-yard line. He's going to take off running. Oh, and he makes Down the side clear across the 45, about the 47-yard line. Number a couple 60. of beat diggers went down. It looked like maybe there might have been a clip in there somewhere. Yeah, the ball in the back, number 64, Caden with fever for your beat diggers in on the tackle. They're getting shook here by the uh, band. Yeah, they are. <laughs> the whole the student box. section Shaking. for Fort Morgan is directly in front of us, and they are pumped up for this one. This is the... Season opener for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Brush is 1-0 and after their win at Wiggins last week. Number seven, number seven, Caden Edson, quarterbacking the Fort Morgan Mustangs. He'll hand off to number 24, that is Levi McCoy. He's up for about 12 yards. He's in a beat digger territory to 40, just short of it. They're going in the hurry-up offense, too. They are. Trying to keep the beat digger defense on its toes. Going to run the same play to that right side, and B Diggers 
ready for it that time. Number 21, Nick Wellen, making a great tackle from the linebacker position. Seawall there with him. About a loss of a yard. Uh, maybe a maybe football a length. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I think it's about where it was. Pretty close. Second and ten in a football length, I guess. And ran right up the line of scrimmage and then turned to get the play from the sidelines. Edson calls it out. He's got a keeper right up the middle. Sidesteps a couple tacklers. He's going to be up for about six yards. Number 79, Joshua Cantu in on that tackle. I think that's seven yards down to the 33 of the beat diggers. Mustangs get our take away out to the far side. Stay going from our left to right in the beat digger territory. Hunter Dunn, the corner out there on the Mustangs lone receiver. Okay. They're going to hand, hand off. off the far side. And a that is race to the corner. And a little help out there. <laughs> number 12, Cale Langford for the Mustangs. That rushing attempt that didn't get a whole lot. Maltos Garcia in on the tackle along with some other help. Nick Wellen. Nick Wellen, big time senior leader for the Beat Diggers. He's around the football just about every play, offense and defense. Pretty much. Fourth and two, Mustangs line up. Going that shotgun. They're going to run the keeper, keeper again. By, oh, Caden's up there for the uh, first down. And I think he got it if it's on that side of the 30 yard line. And they're going to bring out measuring sticks anyway. Nope, they're going to go ahead and mark it a first down. Is inside the 29 yard line, first and 10 for the Mustangs. Rush of about five yards there for Caden Edson. We're, We're going to go kind of stretching things out here. Yeah, they're going to go four wide here. Mustangs are three to the near and one to the far side. One deep back. Caden goes up under center, but then he steps back in the shotgun. Black uniforms. Uh, He's going to pass. pass. Cross oh, nice. oh, it is intercepted. Number 30. Four, Jace Krieger, Krieger down he's the got, right sideline. He's up uh, to the 46-yard line for the beat diggers. That, I think that was a timing pattern. Krieger was right there, and his receiver wasn't anywhere close. No, no, it looked like he threw it right to him. I, I think uh, the receiver ran the wrong route, or the quarterback didn't uh, read it right. Something happened there that was not supposed to happen, but good for the beat diggers. They're going to start at the 40, call it the 46-yard well, line uh, of their own territory. For the hill head to the west. For Alejandro the west. Maltos Garcia, your quarterback for the beat diggers. He's going to be under center to start, one wide to the near side. He's going to drop back to pass. He's going to go deep for number six. Oh, oh. in and out of the hands. Oh, man, that was Yvonne Cardenas. Cordain was it Evan? Uh, yes, it was. I apologize. He had it there. He was wide open. Good coverage there by uh, Ortega, Jacob Ortega, the senior for the Mustangs. Got that one. That touchdown written on it. It did. He it in. at the time the ball left quarterback's hands. He had him beat by about a yard and a half. And good play by the defensive back, able to catch up. Peter Girls is in. It's number 11 across there. One wide, wide receiver. And nothing doing there for well, Welling. Lost with about four yards. Mustangs were all over that. They lost about three yards there. Yeah, a little a long three yards. Long three yards. <laughs> it's about, I'll call it three and a half. <laughs> Set at the 42 yard line. Got to get, get out across the, uh, out down to the 44 of the Mustangs. Third down and long. Keeper by Maltos Garcia over the right side. He's going to cut up for about seven yards, seven, eight yards, but uh, still a long ways to go for a first down, only about seven more yards. That was that play that they ran very successfully a couple times at Wiggins last week. Surprised to see him run it so early uh, in the game tonight. They're going to line up to punt here. Fourth and a long nine. Bring Sweetly back there with uh, Jacob Ortega. He could just got to punt it away from their 46. Kind of a bad snap, but he's going to get it kicked up. Ortega. Or no, no, excuse me, that's Sweetly with it. Cuts one way now. Cuts back to the near side. He's picked up about 20 yards. Still going. We've got a flag down. I think he's going to be out of bounds right here in front of the Fort Morgan bench. 
front loader Mustangs here on the near side. He caught the ball and went one way and spun around the other and turned uh, nothing into something there, but let's see what this flag's going to be. I have a feeling the flag's going to bring him back. Flag is at about the 44 of the Mustangs. going to be holding on the Fort Morgan Mustangs. That'll set him back from a, been a great field position for him. Yeah, without he went that out. penalty, they've been in plus territory about the 35-yard line of the B-Diggers. Yeah, I think they went out right in front of us here. Eight minutes left to play here in the first quarter. We're going to mark that back to the uh, 35-yard line. Still no score. Eight minutes left in the first period. Two wides to the far side for the Mustangs. Double tights. They're going to hand it. No, oh, it's a fake quarterback handoff. is going to pass it. That is caught. Oh, nice catch. Side step. Fumble. Scramble for it. I think the Mustangs are going to get it. Clear nice, down at the beat digger 35. It's a nice so. chase down tackle there. It will call a fumble, but you're right. Fort Morgan's going to recover that. And it was number four for the Fort Morgan Mustangs, Fernando Marquez, who caught that ball on a comeback route from his quarterback and then made a nice little move and got an extra. Oh, four or five yards before he was drug down from behind. About 30 yards on that play, is that right? Yep. Okay, wise to each side, a wing back in there, one deeper runner, and hand it up the middle. Not much there, Some driven back hard. Levi McCoy That's, again with that carry. That was Seawald on the tackle. He's listed at 5'7", but I think he's a little bigger than that. He, lo he sure looks taller, but pads and cleats and a helmet on him and plays that end position very well play defense he plays uh, a lot bigger than five he does play a lot bigger ortega here to the near side he's only listed at 150 pounds too jose mosquero out there in the backfield for the mustangs he's got another quarterback keeper to the left side oh, bounces it he's outside. Gonna outrun the coverage the hit down he's going to be down to the 20 yard line first and 10 mustangs Picked up about 12 yards on that carry. Mm -hmm. Kale Lang Langford in with the play. He's going to be the deep back. Caden Edson gets a play from the sideline. I guess he's reading some signals there. Two whites to the near side. And back to pass. Roll out again. Oh. oh. <laughs> pass defended up into the air and almost picked off again. We have batted away, just not quite a high enough for the Good defense defense backs. by the Digger secondary. Adam Cardona comes to the near side, number 80 for the Mustangs. Fernando Marquez to the far side, and he's got another receiver out there. I think that's uh, Ortega on the left side. Comes in motion, the receiver does. That is Ortega, a little end around to the near side. Nice stretching it out by the Beat Diggers, and the Calvary arrives. Nick Bell in there again. <laughs> Had a little bit of help from his buddies. Yeah, might have got a half a point. yard out of that. Huh? Yeah, might have. Not much to brag about. Big Diggers did a good job of stringing that out. They did. Fernando Marquez is out wide again to the far side. The Oluna for the Mustangs out right to the near side. Kale Langford Sandoval, backfield. Sandoval in the slot, a little motion to the far side. Get two wide receivers out that way. Hand off on underneath for a nice tackle. Hang on, Maybe. hang on, hang on. <laughs> Number six, Yvonne Cardenas hanging on to the foot for, oh, about a yard. Langford just was dragging him until the help got there to help bring him down. But uh, kind of reminds you of trying to catch a calf out in the, in the corral. That's a yeah. great analogy, actually. <laughs> That's, That's exactly what He's kicking and you're hanging yeah. on for dear life, but he got him down. They're going to go three wide now. Well, maybe two wide and a tight end. Fourth and five for the Mustangs. A little confusion Yeah, receivers there. don't know what play they're running. Going to drop back into the shotgun. Langford on his right side. Langford looking deep. A little rush. Rush. Oh, he breaks rush. away from it. Breaks away again. Gets oh, hit, fumble. fumbles the ball, and the beat diggers are going to take it over on downs at their home 33-yard line. Number 75, Aaron Taylor, had about three chances to get him there. Finally, was able to bring him down. So the Mustangs are going to take over on downs about the 34-yard line in their own territory. 
clock winding 440. Still no score here from we already forgot to mention, Fort Morgan. Rob, our opening kickoff was brought to you by Buildings by Design. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. Okay. First and ten for the Beat Diggers. We're going to turn around and hand it off to Nick Wellen. Nick Wellen's going to come up the middle, keep turning his legs for about a 10 and a half, 11 yards, and a Beat Digger first down. He bounced off about three tacklers and cut it back, and uh, first and ten, Beat Diggers. Give him 11 yards on that, roughly, with roughly. my math. I went to Snyder School. So. Well, I went to Prairie, so I can't be much better. The Prairie's almost bigger than the Snyder School. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not by much. How many was in your graduating class? Well, uh, my class was didn't graduate from late might just go to Brush. There was 17. It was one of the yeah. bigger classes. Yeah. Oh, nice pitch to Krieger around the right side. He's got blocking. He cuts up for about a seven-yard gain. He'll be into Mustang territory. Yeah, and 65, I think, was the last class out of Snyder. They drug us to Brush. Yeah. We uh, we graduated with 14. No, 12. I think 12 oh, really? was in my class, and we were one of the smaller ones. So. But it's probably close to our average or a little yeah, over. Yeah, not surprising. Our class came from a blizzard of 49. There you go. It was a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pete Digger's set to go. Second down, let's call it four, inside of top 48 of the Mustangs. And handoff by Garcia. He's got it to Wellen for a couple yards. A couple yards, about a yard for the first down. Reminder, we are on 1010 KSIR in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Tyler Carmen, alongside Rob Hastings, broadcasting the cross-county matchup between Mustangs and the Diggers. There we go. About three minutes left in the first quarter. Still no score. A couple of uh, turnovers by the Mustangs have given the Beat Diggers now their second opportunity to try and put something together. They're finally in plus territory. About the 46 yard line. Caden, oh, big rush there and sneaking through. Nice that? inside handoff to come up off the Krieger? pile. Number yeah. 34, yes. Uh, be Krieger. Krieger. About a four yard carry. Mustangs really had a blitz trying to stop that run and they blitzed the wrong spot. They did. I think. Beat Diggers called the right play there, a little misdirection. They thought for sure it was going to Wellen, which really is not a, a bad guess at all. Yeah. Don't blame them one bit. Uh, Krieger's got a lot of speed. First and 10 for the Beat Diggers. They're going to go in another tight formation. Oh, no, they're going to split. Maybe oh. not. Luke Seawald's going to come back in. Seawald says, settles down in a tight end position here on the near side. And there's a little. Cardenas nice around the right round. side on a little end around, and he's going to be out of bounds. Well, let's see where they mark it. A little I bit think it's short. about a yard short of the first down, maybe a yard and a half. It's going to be right at the 35-yard line. He figures a switch over to the far side and hash marks. Second down and one. Set the ball right on the 35-yard line of the Mustangs. Mustangs came again with that heavy inside rush. And had it been an inside handoff like they were thinking, they would have had him dead to rights, but Cardenas with a nice end around, able to pick up healthy, chunky yards. Okay, if I catch Moriarty to the far side, backs from the tee, and a little, oh, a little fake, had a pass to Krieger, oh, just, no, excuse me, that was Seawall just over his head. Just over his fingertips. It's a nice pass, just a little too far. Montes Garcia Hondo is only a sophomore, yeah. played all last year. Throws a nice tight spiral there. If he's able to set his feet, I know that one that he missed Cardenas on, or Cardenas rather missed him, but he wasn't able to set his feet. He had to throw off his back foot. That one is able to set his feet, really launch it, just launch it just a hair too far. Now they're going to go one wide to the far right. Very curious, in with the play, if the numbers are right here, number 11. Now yeah, we've got a timeout here. We're going to have a timeout from the Beat Diggers. Every brush timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen and his team are there to make the insurance world easy for you. Call them at 842-4555. Coach Lance Swint must have not liked what he's seen there, either from the Fort Morgan defense or what his own offense was doing. Coach Swint, uh, Fort Morgan Mustang. He is a former Mustang. John Beltran on 1010 KSAR and 6.3 has been doing the the reliving of past state champions here in Morgan County. And was Lance Schwinn part of a state championship team? I'm 
Ooh. I'm a little young, Rob. I don't mean to show your age. But. I don't remember that one. <laughs> Lance is a lot younger than me. Yeah. And my memory isn't what it used to be. <laughs> They're out of their timeout now. Beat diggers are going to line up in their tight formation again. One wide to the far right. Hondo under center. We're just a long Third one here. One. Going to turn around and hand it off to Nick Wellen and a great penetration by number 75, Nick Norris, for the Mustangs. Maybe his but, knee yeah. touched down the officials. Wellen tried to dive forward, but let's see where they spot him. Well, they're spotting him right on the 35-yard line, so he's still a yard short. Yeah. He dove forward, but I think a knee hit the ground. Yeah, his knee was down. Cardenas in with the play. Come out to the near side. See that tight formation. Two tight ends, two running backs. Come to the left down. side this time, and I think he's uh, definitely got the first down. I don't see who they handed well it I think it was Nick Wellen there with the about a. Well, let's see here, about a. They would spot the ball. Yeah, about three yards. About a three-yard carry. Krieger blocking along with uh, 53. I think that was uh, Ismail Hernandez. Pete Digger's been running right all the time, and this yep. time they come to the left side. Turn around and run to the left. First and 10 from the 30, call 33 yard line for your Diggers. Reach to the far side. Stay with that two tight ends. He's going to fake the pitch. And he's he's going to have to run and throw it right through the hands of Krieger. A little bit high. Had a big a rush in there on Garcia by number 23 for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. The uh, Christopher Snyder. He wanted to look left to, I believe it was Seawald running another post route there. And I think if he was able to set his feet, he would have went ahead and ripped it down there. But you're right, big uh, big pressure by Snyder there. Forced him to try and check it down to Krieger. Yeah, he got, got a little too much adrenaline if he had yeah, laid bit. that out there a little bit. He had, yeah, wouldn't have picked up a lot. Fort Morgan was closing quickly. Not sure how much Krieger would have been able to pick up there. Hunter Dunn will go out to the right side. They're going to stay with that double tight end. Krieger and Wellen in the backfield. We got a whistle. Uh -oh. Let's hope that this is not. Delay a game. Oops. Oh. That'll hurt. That will hurt. <laughs> Last, second down in the 15. Last week, the beat diggers. Let's see. Brush coach went. They had six illegal procedure penalties. Hoping to clean that up. Off to a good start tonight up until that point. 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Cardenas in with the play. I got a second and long. Seawald is tied into the near side. I can see who the tight end is to the right side. Well, in Krieger. Takes the snap, back. drops back to pass. He's able to set his feet. And oh, it throws it way high. Way overthrows Cardenas there. But there is four defenders for two receivers out there. I don't think there it was. Looked, it looked very congested. <laughs> it was probably good that he just threw it away. Yep. The Mustangs sure do sub a lot of their players out uh, a lot more often than the Diggers do. They have a lot more depth. Edgar Escalante in the play. He'll go off to the right side. Krieger and Wellen in the backfield again. Hondo under center. Going to go ahead and take the snap. And a oh, delayed delay. handoff to Krieger. That's a great play. Krieger's going to come very close. A great third and long play call by... I think he might have it. This going to be down to about the 23 and a half yard line. He's close. They're going to call it third and one. So Krieger for about a 14 yard carry. Lance well, Swint's really... Uh, Getting the right plays in there. Yep, I'm yep. Call a timeout for a measurement, I think. Maybe it's a quick. Yeah, they're gathering up the chains. Yeah, see how far it, it is. It'll be fourth down and short. 35 seconds left Coach in the Swint first Coach might have wanted to see how far he's, he really has to go. Stretches the chains out about a half. Yeah, about mm. a football length, doesn't it? Yep, about a foot. <laughs> If I was a betting man, I would bet that the Diggers are going to go for it on this fourth and short. Gary Cruz comes in with the play. Go out to the far side, the right side. As Pete Diggers head towards the northwest. Paltos under center. And a little keeper right up the middle. He keeps going. Free. And he's going to have a first down. Down about the uh, 12, let's call it 14 yard line. Let's see where that's 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 yep. Near sideline guys. 14 now. yard line. Picks up about seven, eight yards. I think Lance has kind of got the playbook, keeping him guessing. It was a great block by a center there. Center and guard opened up a hole for him right up middle left side. 
Cardenas to the right side. Altos Garcia, we got a timeout again. We oh, could. that's the end of the quarter, yeah, folks. That is the end How about of the that? I thought the same thing. I thought, we're calling another timeout, but that <laughs> is the end of the quarter for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. And the Breed Diggers, and uh, we'll have our next 12 minutes after this short timeout on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Colorado Sports Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Brush Breed Diggers at Fort Morgan Mustangs on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We have uh, flipped into the field here, getting ready to start the second quarter. Your brush beat diggers are driving. They, uh, they're they on about the 14, yeah, about the 14 yard line. First down. Okay, Eric Cardenas to the near side. It looks like 87 is a tight end to the near side. That's Kate Moriarty. He's not that big, but he's that lining bigger. up there. Max in the tee. Maltos Garcia ends the left side, nothing doing there for Krieger. Krieger's going to lose about um, we'll call it two yards. He got driven back about six yards. <laughs> yep, they call it, they blew the pay dead. Rush beat diggers are going to huddle up. Good time to throw in another one of our sponsors, Northeastern Junior College. When it comes to your future, Northeastern is miles ahead, and they're a college that is close to home. Check them out online. Okay, it's going to be a second 12 and 16, so we'll give them a two-yard loss. And we've got, and we've got uh, oh, too many men on the field here. And Lance, <laughs> go ahead, Coach Lance Schmidt is not happy. He walked all the way out to the numbers on the field. I don't know if it's mad. Oh, they decided to pick it up. Uh, Oh, he must have. Lance went doing great negotiating in his diggers part there. He must have talked the ref out of the flag. Well, there's a little confusion coming out of the uh, huddles. Yeah. Okay, why is he side? He's going to drop yeah. back to pass. going to float it up for the left side. And touchdown, diggers. Oh, boy, from the 16-yard line. I believe that's number 11, Eric Cable Rich. I believe it's who caught that. Reached right over. No, I apologize. That is number 14, Luke Seawolf. That'd be Seawolf into the end zone. I, I thought it went through his hands. It's hard to see in that. Glare in here. Yeah, it's hard to see in that far corner, but great pass by Hondo to Seawolf there. Now, here's for uh, the real test or something that plagued them last week. Special teams. Let's see how their kicking team lines up here to try for the extra point. Set. Hikes the ball back. Kicks up, and it looks good. It, it is. is good. How about Rush that? Beat Diggers, draw first blood. Your first brush score is brought to you by Western Engineering Consultants. Engineering and consulting services for all of your projects. Strong commitment to their client needs. Set them apart. Get your project started the right way with Western Engineering Consultants. That was an absolute beauty of a pass from Hondo to his receiver out wide. Luke Seawald reached right over the top of the Fort Morgan defender. Snagged it right out of the air and held on to it in that deep corner. 53 seconds into the uh, second period. The beat diggers take the lead. Coach Davies got them all lined up out there. It's, wonder what they're saying in that huddle. Uh, I don't think I'd <laughs> want to be down there to find out, to be honest with you. Probably not. Okay. Jacob Ortega is going to be deep. The Diggers do have an advantage here, though, having played one week prior. This is Fort Morgan's first game of the year. They might be experiencing some of the same, I don't know if you call it with nerves or rust from being the first game of the year, but beat Diggers. Taking advantage of a uh, turnover. Okay, Ortega to the near side. Wheatley to the far side. He's going to kick it off. Ortega's going to catch it about the 10 yard line, take off down that far right side. Got some pretty good blocking. He's going to bob and weave his way to about the 35 yard line. Nice return by Ortega. Pretty good kick there by Melvin Hernandez. And he really doesn't get a run at it either. He only gets about a two, three step head start before booting that thing down. Okay, Fort Morgan's going to head the other way now. Fort Morgan will be heading in that northwest direction. We'll set the ball right at the 35 yard line of, of uh, Fort Morgan. Ortega will come to the near side. Malachi Yanis. Of the to the Malachi Yanis. A little slot to the near side. Snap back. And up right to the middle for about six, seven yards. Levi McCoy again with that carry. Kind of spread the beat diggers out a little bit and go right up the middle. Mustangs right to the line. 
trying to run that hurry up offense again. Here comes the same play and not as good a result. Nipped it out. Luke Seewald coming Seewald from that defensive end position. It's probably 21 in on that too, I think. That's a safe bet. Very safe bet. <laughs> Two linebackers snuffed that one out. Third and four. Beat Diggers lead 7 0, 10 13 in county during the second period. All kinds of hands in the air and waving. Three guys waving. Him. I don't know who's honestly getting the play. Okay, Nensen back in shotgun again. Gonna send a man in motion. Got a flag here to the near side. I think we got the, probably another one of those illegal procedural penalties. Kind of rolling those wrists together. Near side referee she picks a flag and they're gonna walk call. It back five. So now we're gonna be at about third and nine for the Mustangs. Set it down at the uh, 36 yard line of the Mustangs. They're gonna set up. Yeah, it is here to the near side. Split wide. I'm sure, who's out there to the far side? I believe it's number nine, Leo Luna. He's okay. gonna drop back to pass. Big pass, nice rush. Oh. Good side step, throw it to the near side, and it's gonna fall complete. Complete. Twenty-two was uh, Malachi Yanez, but Edgar Escalante kind of short hopped him. Yeah, Edgar Escalante there defending. I believe the Mustangs are gonna line up to punt. Beat. The Diggers are going to send two men back, Cardenas and Krieger. Adam Cordona for the Mustangs, getting set to kick it away. That's kind of a wild-looking formation. It is. If I was the Diggers, I'd just pay a little extra attention, make sure one of the three guys that's going to maybe get this snap isn't going to take off running. I don't know how they're going to get it to the kicker over all those oh, blockers. Oh, and Nick Wellen. Nick Wellen, I think, got his hand on that. Knocked it down. It's going to go ahead and roll all the way to the Digger 39-yard line. But I think Nick Wellen might have got a hand on that or at least affected the kicker enough to not get a good kick off. So, Beatrickers will have great field position. They're going to set it down right at their 40-yard line. It's only about a 25-yard yep, right. kick, roughly. Well. I'm not good at stats. No, I'm trying to keep them here myself and struggling a bit. I apologize, folks. Stats unofficially at the end of the game may not be as good as they are usually if John were here. Cardenas, near side handoff to Krieger to the left side. He's going to have five yards. Put him out across the 45. Going a little bit more heavier to Krieger uh, this game. Get Krieger five on that as they started from their 40. Gives Krieger about 30 yards on five carries for the night. Coming a long ways around a corner is uh, Escalante, line up the only wide receiver. There's give it Nick to Wellen. Wellen. He's got a first and 10 inside of Mustang territory. Be down about the 49, 48 and a half yard line. Six yard carry for Wellen. Absolutely thumped the defender when he was supposedly tackled. He's kind of tripped over the defender. Oh, okay. what it looks like. Well, he, he fell down in the right place. Yeah, yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, and runs low and hard most of the time. Going to send a man out wide. Roost to the near side. Noah Lopez. Or no, I'm sorry, that is Mustangs. Number 11 is Eric Abel Rish. Right up the middle. That's Wellen. Wellen's going to get about a two-yard gain out of this. Yeah, more than that. Yeah, about three, maybe three yards. Right on the 45-yard uh, line of the Mustangs. Cardina is going to check into the game for Gable Rich. Peter is staying with the two tight, e tight ends. Moriarty to the near side. Seawald to the left side. Going to turn around. and oh, There's that one. bootleg again, that run. And Hondo's going to spin and twirl and dance his way to about a two-yard carry there. It kind of looked like he was going to go wide, and I think there was coverage, so he cut it up. And, but he's still getting a couple yards. Hondo unofficially, three carries. 14 yards on the night. Seven and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Diggers leading seven to nothing on a great pass from Hondo to Luke Seawald. Seawald's going to flex out to the far side, reach to the near side. Yeah, drop back Hondo's the back there, and there goes that drop, drop it in there pass and overthrew him. Couldn't quite get through the defensive coverage out there. That should be fourth down and five for the Beat Diggers. See if you're going to go for it here. Yeah, the Beat Diggers lost a half a yard on where they set the ball down. <laughs> they did. <laughs> on an incomplete pass, they lost the yard. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. That's Whoops. incredible. Uh, the near side uh, guy ought to be able to see that from here. We can. <laughs> We're from, looking right down the 45 yard line of the Diggers right now. Fourth and six in with that set. <laughs> He rolled out back. here, and we got a flag. Nice pass. Cardenas has it. Would have been a first down, but I don't know if that 
uh, the flag is going to be on the beat diggers or if that's going to be on uh, the Mustangs. Completed it right at the 35-yard line. No, Lopez is on the coverage. They're trying to figure out here with the Mustangs. I don't know. The ref is acting like he's going to walk backwards. No, he's going to set. He's going to place the ball right at the 35-yard line. They're talking it over. The guys from the far side are getting there. So it was right here in front of us, but I didn't really see. So they try and figure it out. B&B Appliance, they can help you with all your appliance needs. Stop in and see them, what they can do for you. Check them out on Ensign Street in Fort Morgan. Maybe they can help the refs figure out what's going on here. They're going to go ahead and wave that flag, too. Oh, really? Coach yeah. Davies was trying to get a little input there, a little more. Still trying, yep. <laughs> They're going to place it on the near hash of the 35-yard line for the diggers. Uh, the head ref's going to come over and explain it to him. They're still explaining, too, Coach Davies. I don't blame him. That's a big play on fourth down for the Davies. diggers. First and ten diggers at the 35-yard line. Here's to the far side. Krieger and Willen. Oh, a nice pitch out to Krieger. He's around the edge. He's cut the edge up. and going to get about four yards. And, uh oh another, There's another flag. flag. Well, we're going to get a hole there on his uh, blocker out there. Maybe that would really hurt. Maybe that'll make Coach Davies feel a little bit better. Now uh, they're talking that one over, now too. Now they're talking that one over, too. My goodness. At least they're trying hard to get it right. They are. You can appreciate that. They are. Oh, it's going to be personal foul. Face mask, isn't it? On the diggers. Maybe on that stiff arm. Krieger put his hand right in the Mustang defender's face oh, mask. That's 15 big ones. We're going to march that clear back to the 50. Man. Ouch. That's a, that is a hard one to swallow if you're the brush beat diggers. They got, a, they got a long first and 25 to go. Maybe another one of those delayed handoff plays. Yeah. Here to try and get some of that back. Joshua you Kent. know the you know the Mustangs are going to be rushing very hard here. Yeah. Hondo's okay. going to drop back to pass. The big rush. He throws it, it out there long, and it could be a oh in and out of the hands of receivers. Is that Cardenas? It is Cardenas. Great route. Had the defender by about a step, step and a half. Hits him in his hands. Just not, just didn't quite have fingers long enough. Oh man, that was right on. What a beautiful pass. He dropped it right in there. Hondo tonight definitely better from the pocket, being able to set his feet and really let it rip as compared to last week. Great coverage. But started to say Russell Cantu working the near side tackles. Pretty good sized out mm -hmm. there. Must be doing a good job. Number 75 for the Mustangs, Nick Norris. And well and with a little keeper, nothing there. Uh-oh. So they're going to throw there all kinds flag. of flags. The oh. Mustangs acted like they were going to come on a blitz. And could have swore right at the 50-yard line. Looked like they were in the neutral zone there when that snap. Let's see what they're going to. That would be a big help to the diggers. If, no, they're going to go face mask. Foul, face mask on the Mustangs. So they're going to go ahead from the 51-yard line. Mark this 15 yards. That should be a first down. Got that 15 yards back. First down. No, they're going to go. say second down? Yeah, they're going to leave it at second down. High school rules are a little bit different. They are, just a hair different. <laughs> okay. Just a hair. Well, second 10 for the beat diggers. We're going back and forth with a couple of big penalties. Winding down on six minutes left in the second quarter. Hondo under center. Seven to nothing. Going to turn around and do an Where's end Cardenas around. Cardenas with that end around. He's going to be taken down at about the 30-yard line. Ouch. Looks like that hurt. Hold about a, we'll call it a five-yard gain. Mustang defense been out there a lot in this first half. Probably starting to get a little winded. Escalante brings a play in, and he'll come out to the near side. Beatinger's working at the, like about in the center of the field, headed to our right. A third five from the third. He's going to drop Hondo's back to the pass. Out there. Uh, Escalante's got it. He's going to be right at that first down marker. See where they place it. They are. Should be a first down for the diggers. I think it is. Right on the uh, 35 or 25 yard line. They're going to go ahead and move the chains. First and 10 diggers. We'll move the beat diggers to the near side hash marks. Well, there's a few hashes out there. There is. Not near as nice as all of them at each yard. But. <laughs> okay. Escalante came in. Let's see. Who else is? Moriarty goes out. He's been playing the tight end. 
Number 33, Hunter Dunn, is going to be your far left side. Wide out. Escalante to the far right. Krieger and Wellen in the backfield. Hondo under center. Oh, oh Mustang. Oh. Must got a great hard count from Hondo. They're going to pick up another five yards here. Mustang is going to jump off sides. Had a couple guys jump off sides, and Coach Davies is not happy. He pulled both his nose tackles that jumped off sides there. Pulled both of them out. When I was at practice week four last day, we were really working that. <laughs> yeah, you, these you know, teammates uh, jumping. No one to call it. It could be a great, great asset. It's a free play. Escalante. First and five now from the 20 yard line. Escalante in the near side. Krieger's going to flop to the left side of Wellen. Going to turn well, around. That Wellen gets stuffed for maybe a yard. Well, second and four. Who sets it down? Uh, this is going to. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that weird spot again, aren't they? Uh, I don't know. The side guys should be the ones marking where the ball goes, not the guy behind the play. Yeah. But anyway, so it makes it second and five, short five. Cardenas in, along with the Moriarty. Cardenas to the left side. Moriarty tied into the near side. He's going to turn around, hand it off to Wellen off that left side. And Wellen, he's going to have a first down. He's going to get down to about the 13 or 14 yard line. There go the markers. Yep. First down, Diggers. 345 left. Diggers up 7 to nothing and driving. Wellen gets it harder in six yards there for the first down. Good blocking off the left side there. I think Coach Davies has seen enough. He's going to go ahead and call a timeout. How about that? Uh, if I was him, I would too. B Diggers kind of whooping up on the four Morgan Mustangs right now. Igmeyer Phillips Insurance. Things happen in life. Make sure you're prepared with the right insurance coverage. Igmeyer Phillips Insurance in Brush and Fort Morgan. Okay. Let's see if the B Diggers can pound this one in. If I was them, I don't know if I would continue to try to go through the air. They're having pretty good luck on the ground. Well, I think the uh, the passes down the field really opened up the running a little they bit. Have, they have definitely. Still a little tight. But, uh, they'll be bigger set to go. Fort Morgan won this game last year, 42-7. to seven. This game, obviously, a little bit more tighter, 7 to nothing. Okay. Three minutes, 40 seconds left in the second first, quarter. First and 10 at 14. Gonna hand off to Krieger. Might have about four yards out of that. Going to get about the 9 or 10 yard line. See how far back they set it this time. <laughs> they, they did. They set it back at about the 10 and a half, 11 yard line. Uh, I think the nose is there by the 10. Is it? I thought he was able to dive forward to get to about the 9. Okay. Second and 6. He took her to stay with the two tight ends. Krieger and Wellen in the backfield again. I think that's Reesh to the near side. Yep. And off to uh, Krieger. And he... He gets swallowed up. Going to be a loss of a couple yards there. Yeah, he thought he could get out around that rush, but uh, didn't work. Did not. So he'll make a third and about seven. Two changes for the Mustangs. The big guys come out. They put some littler guys out there. Rush taking their time. Figuring 230 and well. counting. In the Port Morgan half. crowd trying to get loud, trying to help their defense out a little bit. Cardenas to the far side. Altos Garcia under center. He's going to drop back. Looks back. He's got Moriarty, and that's oh, going to be pass that's interference. That's got to be pass interference. They're not. It? They're not going to call that pass interference. He was tackled on the ball. Was halfway there. Well, that kept him from getting close to the ball. <laughs> oh, that, that, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how that's not pass interference. They're going to call that incidental, maybe. But uh, the you only thing I can think is. You and I both were absolutely certain before the ball even hit the ground that there was going to be a flag thrown, and there's no, there was no traffic in the way of the ref to see. That was he's right in the center of the field, right at the goal line. About the as ball was clear as five or six PI yards I've ever seen this way. Fourth, Fourth and, and seven. Cardenas yeah. throws it up high, and Seawall didn't even see the ball, and he got got hands. 
tied up there, too, again. He couldn't get through the defender to get to the ball. Kind of went a little bit on the inside. So the Diggers, they're going to go ahead and turn over ball on downs. Mustangs, though, they ended up pinning them back about their own 10-yard line. What more than will take over your own uh, 14, I think, or 10. About the 10, 11. Call it the 11-yard 11. 11 line. Tyler Carmen alongside Rob Hastings tonight. 209 left in the game. Beatriz up seven and nothing. Caden Edson in the shotgun. He's underneath handoff, not a lot, maybe about four yards there for the running back. McCoy. He's 21. I think it's 24, McCoy. Okay. Mustangs hurrying players in and out. We'll send Fernando Marquez to the right side. McCoy is leading Uber. rusher for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Four carries for 22 yards. Jacob Portego coming to the near side. They're still looking over. Clock winding 134 and counting. Taking a long time here. Gonna hook it deep. Pass Cardenas there. is there. Good. Oh, he knocked it away. Good defense. Cardenas was right there, ball hawking that quarterback. Knew exactly where the ball was coming, coming across the field to break it up. It's gonna be third and six for the Mustang. Cardenas was all on an island there, but he played that one well. Right in front of the beat digger bench. That'll stop the clock at 122 here in the second quarter. Quick first half. They're going to line up one far to each side. Ortega to the near side. Marquez to the far. All along the 15-yard line. Two backs in the backfield. He's going to set up to pass again and overthrows his receiver, Marquez. That'll keep the clock stopped. Only chewed off a couple seconds. Minute 18. Fourth and six. And I think they're going to go ahead and punt. Go ahead and punt and try and pin the diggers back far enough. They don't have enough time to put together one of those long drives. See if Wellen can get another good rush out of this. They did have three blockers. No, that's there's the third. Here man. comes the third one. Kind of a different setup. Can you see the number of the kicker there? I cannot. I got a glare. I want to say it's number 80, Adam Cardona. Going to snap it over his blocker's head, and there's another good block. He had to kick Big it high. Rush. Kicks it out of bounds at they about might. the 35-yard line of the Diggers. That was not a good punt at all. Diggers got a chance I'm to not, do something here. I'm not sure they might have got a hand on that one a little bit. Went really high. I think the kicker, the kicker was number 80, Cordona. He just was making sure he didn't get it blocked. That'd be the worst possible situation for the... Mustangs. There was a great rush by the B Diggers. I don't know. They got so many those three guys in the back. Yeah, lined they lined up right in front of the kicker yeah. and they're makes able a few to lanes for them. Well, the edge rushers for the Diggers can just go right around them is what it's it. And Wellen's doing a great job. He wasn't the only one getting a rush in there though. So the B Diggers 35 yard line headed to our right. Back to pass with Malta Garcia. A little screen. Oh, tapped away by big number 73. Brian Paxton, the senior for the Mustangs. Had a good play there. I was setting up for a screenplay and great play by number 73 for the Mustangs. All right, Paxton. Rush headed to our right, right here. Clock down to 107. Seawaldo flex out to the far side. Hunter Dunn to the near. He's going to drop back past Garcia again. throwing it towards Dunn. Trying to throw an out route. And those are those are big time, hard time throws to make right there. Uh, Dunn's arms weren't quite long enough for that one. Got to make sure you throw it far enough to where corner can't undercut it and pick it off, and throw it short enough for your receiver to catch it in stride and just throw it a little too far there. Better far than short for sure. Okay, third and ten for the beat diggers from the 35. 102 on the clock. And Maltos Garcia runs in. Oh, he's uh, runs oh, into the ball and he comes tries to pitch out it of back. I don't so know what that was. I don't know if he was trying to pitch it back or if it came out. But 
Meat diggers are going to lose about 20 yards on that uh, left back, 22 yards. So now it's a fourth and forever for the diggers. Let's see the clock stop. They should go ahead and kick it back on, though, as soon as the ball is placed. And they're calling a timeout. Timeout for Morgan. the Mustangs. Yeah, that makes sense for the Mustangs. Yeah. They might get some pretty good. If they can get some good pressure on this punt that the diggers are about to undertake, then they might have good field position. Willow Coffee and Bake Shop. Get a delicious treat, breakfast, or lunch option to make the day better. Go out and visit Heidi in at 21 Edison Street in Brush today. Okay, the beat diggers took the lead with 11.07 left in the second quarter. And went up 6 to nothing. Their extra point was good to make it... Uh, 7-0, and that's where we stand here with 52 seconds left. Big fingers to uh, punt it away. But uh, that was a there big is. loss there. That is a big loss. Fourth and forever, number eight for the Mustangs. Briggs Wheatley, number 25, Ortega, back to return this punt. Mustangs are going to, or I'm sorry, the Diggers are going to pull out. Guy must have had 12 men on the field. Okay, Big Digger set to kick it away. Mustang's Big rush. To get a rush. Pretty good punt. It's going to bounce at about the 35-yard line and come to a rest at about the 33 Ball of the Mustangs. Hasn't been real pretty here the last few minutes. No. Big Digger still leads 7 or nothing. They'll get the ball in the next half. We'll have a good halftime show coming up. It'll be brought to you by Stubbs. The Mustangs will go to the 33-yard line. He's going to roll out to his left and overthrow his receiver. Number 22, Malka Giannis, intended. There's all kinds of action. People fall on the ground yeah. and around. <laughs> Cade Nesson had pretty good, uh, pretty good room there to set his feet and uh, chose to throw it on the run and overthrow his man. Kind of like the refs just did to each other there. <laughs> they're, they're not in sync with each other either. 38.3 seconds on the clock. Ball set at 33. Mustangs with two wides to the near side. Slot to the right. Turn around run and hand it, it to McCoy. nothing doing there. Oh, Big number man. 65. Dominic Ontiveros. <laughs> He's only a freshman. He doesn't look like a freshman. He didn't play like one on that play either. He busted through. I don't know who was supposed to block him, but they didn't do it. <laughs> Wrapped him up, and he didn't dang near body slam McCoy to the ground. They're going to lose about three yards. three yards on that. I think he was supposed to be faked out. That is not what the Mustangs wanted at all. Six seconds still winding. They're going to try and get one more play off. They better hurry. Two seconds and counting. They got I it off. One more. Cade Nedson scrambling around. Going to throw it to Ortega. And Wellen's going to miss the tackle, but it's all right. Okay, they're going to go out of bounds. They're on the near side. That'll be the half. Petergers lead 7 to nothing for the Fort Morgan Mustangs as we go to halftime. How about that? Pretty good half by the uh, Diggers, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And Really offensive, not too bad either. We'll be right back with your halftime show here on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, to 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. I am Tyler Carmen alongside Rob Hastings in Fort Morgan tonight, where your brush beat diggers are taking on the Fort Morgan Mustangs. should also mention that Evan James, he is somewhere down along the sideline. He is our social media expert be posting throughout the night doing a great job as always seven to nothing beat diggers as they are fixing to get ready and uh, kick off for the second half clock is still showing a minute 13 so tyler i'm an old guy how do i find that on social media well like get depend, that it, it depends it depends on what social media platform you use i know facebook is one that uh, KSIR, KSIR, excuse me, primarily uses. So, do you have a Facebook profile? A little bit. Okay, a little bit. <laughs> I've been accused of being a little. My wife says I'm on it too much. <laughs> well, get on a little bit more and search. 
1010 KSIR and keep up to date on all our sports happenings. Fort Morgan getting ready to kick off to the Beat Diggers. Trying to see who is back to receive. It is raining here in Fort Morgan. Luke, number 14, Luke Seawall is one Luke person Krieger back. usually are back there. It is Krieger, I apologize. 34, Krieger, number 6, Cardenas back. He's going to kick off, and that is going to jump to the second line. Krieger's going to go ahead and pick it up at the 20-yard line and take off down the right side. Bob and weaving and making something out of nothing. Oh, was there a fumble I think there? the ball came out. Fort Morgan players you sing on like they have it. Oh, they're happy. That's not good. That is not good. Krieger with a great run back. Ran it back about 15 yards and lost it on the way down. That's easy. Don't. Mistakes can just kill you. Okay. I'm not sure. Maybe we disappeared for a minute. 11.53 to go after the fumble by the beat diggers. And great field position for the Mustangs. They're going to do some switching around on the digger defense. There's two wide for the Mustangs to the far side. One wide to the near right. Two players in the backfield alongside Edson. He's going to send a man in motion across to the right side. Number 25, Ortega, is going to take off and get to about the, give or take, call it 33-yard line flag on the play back at the 39. We're going to have a block in the back on the Mustangs. This is going to take that run back, negate it, and then some. He's going to move the flag to about the 30, yeah, call it 37 and a half yard line. Block in the back. In the back Looks like uh, maybe a big number 75 got caught there. I'm going to mark this back 10 yards. It's going to be another long down. Caught it at the 47. First and 22. First and 22 for the Mustangs from the 47-yard line. Edson getting the play from the sideline. They're on the near hash, not too far away from his coaches. Mustang's going with three wide receivers to the far side, working from the near side hash marks. It's always out of the shotgun. Yeah, pa pass it to the near side. Pretty good coverage by Cardenas. Oh, Cardenas he has is the gonna ball and fighting for it, rolling over. Who's going to get possession? I think it's going to go. It should go Rusty Digger way. Cardenas no, comes up with the he ball. Did. <laughs> he had it from the get go. Receiver played. Receiver turned into a pretty good defender trying to break that up, but Cardenas no. is going to... Oh, no. the officials are going to say give it to the Mustangs. The, the white hat come, and uh, the, the old tie goes to the offense rule. Should not have applied here. Cardenas had the ball stand last. Not sure if you could hear. And Lance Schwint is hot, folks. He is out past the numbers. He's talking to the ref. He's got to be careful here. He's going to get a flag thrown on him. I don't blame him one bit. We've got two brush coaches out here. Lance Schwint still trying to make his case to the white hat. Don't blame him at all. Beat is going to call a timeout. Timeout brush. It was a strange place. Lance wants an explanation from the uh, guy in the white hat. I don't blame him at all. I think we all would like an explanation. This brush timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen and his team are there to make the insurance world easy for you. Go ahead and call them at 842-4555. Lance Swin, I think, finally calmed down. Now I'm talking to his team, telling him, keep your head straight. The guy on the near side's got to listen to the four Morgan guys. Yep. But, uh, they still went down were... battling with it together. Well, so now I have Cardenas to... had it first. And... So that's going to go as a completion. I don't even know who caught that ball for Fort Morgan. Rob, do you know? Was it uh, Ortega? I think it might have been. We'll give it to Ortega. They were back at about the 47-yard line. They're now at the 20. We're going to send Marquez out to the far side along with Ortega. Ortega picks up the 27 on the yard slot. completion. Edson's going to take it up the left side on a keeper. Not going to gain very much. Maybe a yard if he's lucky. 
just inside the 20. Maybe with the way these refs are, they might spot that thing clear at the 15. No, I'm just kidding. They're going to spot it right at the 20-yard line. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell where they go down or where they end up putting it. Okay, second nine for the Mustangs. Well, right on the left. 20. 11 minutes left here in the third quarter. Brush still leads 7 to nothing, but the Mustangs threatening from Brush's 20-yard line. That's Caden gonna Edson be. back to pass. Right. Throw up to the near side. It's his receiver about the 15. Ortega again. Maltos Garcia on the tackle. A lot of that movement for a five-yard reception, but well progress is progress. We're going to go third and five now. Third and yeah, five from the 15. Down and five. A little slow getting the play from the sideline here. Fort Morgan is bringing in a different quarterback. Number eight, Briggs Wheatley, is going to be... He's one of their return men. Might try and run some sort of wildcat here. Look for the keeper for Briggs Wheatley. He's going to send Ortega in motion. Oh, we got a flag, illegal procedure on the Mustangs. I'll back him up five. Motion on the Mustangs. Back to the 20, third down and 10. It looked like a little disjointed. So now they're back to third and 10 from the 20. We'll send Cardona way over to the far side, working from the near side hash marks. Going to go four wide here. Briggs Wheatley still in the game for Mustangs at quarterback. Two wide to his left, two wide to his right. McCoy is running back to his left. He's going to uh, fake the handoff and run left. Oh, Pongo good. thought he had him. Briggs is going to step off. Throw the first down. Here comes some flags flying in. And right at the go. Well, about the five-yard line, they go out of bounds. The flag come flying in there. There's a flag. Pick it up and move it back to about the five-yard line. Saw a couple flags fly on that play. Flag is at about the seven or eight-yard line. The Mustangs are walking backwards. We got first game of the year for the Mustangs. We had about a handful of penalties that are starting to set them back. They're going to mark this. The spot is at the 16, about the 16-yard line. They're six. still going to be third and five, third and six for your Mustangs. Holding on the Mustangs. Briggs Wheatley still in the game at quarterback. Bernie Sandoval comes in along with Marquez. They're going to send two wide to the left. Ortega and Marquez. Marquez Cordona's going to the gonna side. Cord Right for this play. A little high snap right up the middle. Oh, somebody tagged him. Oh. He broke loose. He is brought down. He's brought down short of the first, but you got to think that the lack of offense that Mustangs have shown for the past two and a half quarters almost, that this is going to be four down territory for them. They're going to go ahead and go for it. Fourth and one for the Mustangs. Fourth and a yard and a half. Just under 10 minutes to go. Third quarter. Brush still leads seven to nothing. Tyler Carmen alongside Rob Hastings, 1010 KSIR, and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Now they're signaling in the plays and trying to get the crowd going at the same time. Right Good up out. the middle. He's got the first trips down. And falls right at the marker. They're going to give him the first. They're going to give him the first there. First down at the nine yard line. Shoelace tackle there. I think it was Wellen. McCoy on the carry, pulled down by Maltos Garcia. Now it's going to be first and goal That's for the Mustangs. First down and goal. Mustangs threatening here. Wheatley uh, taking the signals. I don't uh, haven't seen Edson on the sideline, have you? Fort Morgan crowd right below us making noise. Just shaking shakes being, a little. Yeah, it does. It's gonna, a little high snap. And right up the middle, it's going to be a touchdown for the Mustangs. Running off the right side goes Wheatley. Big mistake by the beat diggers on the kickoff. Ends up costing them. Wheatley runs it in from about nine, nine yards. yards. Touchdown Mustangs. We're getting 909 in the third quarter. We're gonna line up to well, I don't know what they're doing. To be honest with you. They've got their offensive line and a running back spread way out left. They got one center. Getting ready to hike the ball. They're going to bring their offensive line in. Some funky shift they got going on here. Now, finally, they're going to settle. Caden Edson's going to be the holder. Cordona's going to line up for the extra point. 
see if Rush can't block this here. Uh, pretty good gets kick. A kick up. Might have gone off. Yep, it was so good. It's going to tie it up. Fort Morgan Mustang score with about nine minutes left in the third quarter. Tie it up at 7-7. Seven to seven. Whoa. And Cannon just scared Rob here. Oh, I forgot all about that thing. <laughs> We when we there was making a playoffs. So we used to borrow it from them. I got to yeah. blow that thing off. Yeah. <laughs> I should have been ready. <laughs> seven seven nine oh nine to go. Morgan Community College, MCC is there to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students. Check them out at morgancc.edu. All right. See if the beat diggers can do a little better job on the uh, kickoff return. About a six-minute drive for the Mustangs there after the fumbled kickoff return from Krieger. They started at 34-yard line. Gave them great field position. Has stopped raining here in Fort Morgan. Krieger back probably with uh, probably Cardenas. Seward. I'm not quite sure. Right? Triggers on the right side, far side. Yeah. Cardenas to our near side. Standing at about the 15-yard line. Cardona's getting ready to kick off here from the 40. A little bit better kick. Cardenas is going to field this at the 15 and take off down the middle of the field. Cuts oh. loose. He's breaking free to the far right side, breaking through to the 50, 40, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds about the 35-yard line. Absolutely fantastic return and great blocking from Cardenas and his teammates there. Oh, wow. He puts, That's, he's got some jets there. He does. He turned them on as soon as he broke free there at about the 35 or 40 of his own yard line and didn't stop. He's going to start at Fort Morgan's 40. Fort Morgan first trying to get the 10. momentum back after poor first half, and Brush says, nah, I don't think so. We're going to take it right back. Nine minutes left to go here in the third quarter. 7-7 seven, seven tie. Sandy stepped out at about the 40-yard line of the Fort Morgan Mustang, so... That's where Brush will start. They're going to have one Hunter Dunn far left here. Hondo under center. Takes a snap. Turns that hands off to Wellen up the middle. Hon Wellen's going to gain about, eight, about yards. eight yards. Starting to like that left side. Wellen on the carry. Pulled down by Sadenhall. Spotted at the 33. Second down and three. Seawald to tie it into the near side. I believe Escalante just checked into the game, number 80. Pittinger's been going with that double tight. He's going to send one far. That is Escalante to the near side here, left of Hondo. Seawald is also the tight end to the left. He's going to send Escalante in motion left to right. Going to line up on the right side. An inside handoff to Krieger. He's going to pick up the first down. Pretty fancy ball handling there by Maltos Garcia. It looked like he was going to pitch it, and he yeah. just kind of stuck it into the belly. And Krieger, and he's up for the first down. Up to 29-yard line. Four-yard gain for Krieger. Krieger. Right now, Krieger and Wellen splitting the load evenly. Eight carries apiece. Roughly about 30 and 35 yards, respectively. Car Card Cardenas back into the game. Far left of the receiver. Hondo's going to drop back to pass. He's going to find Moriarty. About the 10-yard line. Another first down for the Diggers. Oh, Hondo had to throw it off his back foot again. Big rush on him, and he just Lobbed it out Moriarty there to Moriarty, and he's going to be inside the 10, it looks like. Moriarty gaining 15. Kind of do that uh, down and out to the edge, and uh, he outrun his uh, defender. They'd outrun him. I apologize. He gained more than that. They're placing this at the 10-yard line. 20-yard gain for Moriarty. Eric Reese to the near side. We're going to inside handoff to Wellen again. He's going to turn for maybe four yards. Very hard earned four yards. See where they spot this ball. The Digger line's been moving the Mustangs off the ball. They have, and as fresh as that Fort Morgan defensive line likes to keep. Pretty impressive by the Digger's line. Okay, second and six to go for the Beat Diggers. Got to get to the goal line. They are second and goal. Escalante is checked back into the game. He's far left. We're going to turn around and hand it off to uh, Krieger. And he's no one anywhere. Might have lost a couple. Krieger on the right side, poked down by Norris. They come outside the six yard line, I think. Now it's third and goal game for Krieger. Third and goal for the six. I believe that's Cardenas checking back into the game. 
Mustangs making some substitutions as well. Noah, uh, Noah Lo Lopez, quarterback to the far side. Cardenas is going to be your far left receiver. Turn around. Hondo is going to be brought down. Oh, uh, he had one receiver and he was covered. Hondo gets taken down at about the 18 yard line. Big loss here. That's going to be fourth down for the Diggers. That was not a good play call. Big rush. I'm not sure. Mustang sniffed that out from the very beginning. Hondo was looking to his left for Cardenas. He was pretty much blanketed by the Mustang defender. and He had nowhere to go. Winding down. Five and a half minutes left to go in the third. Still 7-7 seven, seven between the four Morgan Mustangs and Brushby Diggers. Call a time out here for a quick or sure what's going on. Diggers are taking their time. Yep, they are going to take a timeout. Once again, your timeouts are sponsored by uh, if I can find it here, State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, Greg Bowen and his team are there to make the insurance world easy for you. Call them at 842-4555. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is for you. They have some really good commercials on TV. They're probably they some do. of the best. They got a uh, good insurance agent. Yeah, Greg and Ronda Mullen, though treat you right we've got a lot of great sponsors there it's just, we do uh, we do always a pleasure to read them all they're all great people they are as the game goes on we will continue to give thanks to our sponsors who make all this possible it's speed digger's second time out so yep. second time out before uh, this, this the fourth half. quarter yeah. hopefully it doesn't come back to bite them later in the game tight game 7-7 seven, seven. mustangs have come back on the field they must have Discuss what they needed to discuss. They're raring to go after that big sack. I suppose coach is working on his blocking assignments. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe go back to that little delayed handoff that got him the huge chunk of yards earlier in the game. Krieger picking up 15 yards. Looks, looks like uh, Escalante out here to the near side. Cardenas, I think, is the far side. Big back. rush again. He's Marcus just going to waft it up. It's going to be picked off in the end zone by Ortega, and he's going to bring it out. Coming to the near side, Luke Seawall trying to make the tackle Ortega. It's about the 15-yard line. Breaking tackle, still going. He's going to get back all the way to the 30-yard line. 30-yard interception return for number 25, Ortega, for the Mustangs. Hondo didn't really have a choice. He saw one of his receivers and... Hucked it up there to him, and unfortunately hooked it a little too far right into the waiting hands of Ortega. Another big rush there. Kind of a Hail Mary. He went to the wrong guy. Yeah. Number... But a great run by, back by Ortega. He was just, just kind of wiggling from one side to the other. Yeah, great Ended up at the 30. I wanted to say number 82 for the Fort Morgan Mustangs, but there isn't an 82 that was putting the pressure on. Maybe it was 84, Colin Farley. Let's see there. Edson is <laughs> going to be the quarterback now for the Mustangs after Wheatley. It's like Daniel Cern is in there at that slot back. I always go with one uh, deep back and one slot back. And send one in motion. Comes across. Gonna gonna come throw it out here to the near side. Uh, incomplete pass. Ortega held up. Knew he was going to get hit. Moriarty coming across the field there. Yeah, Ortega he, had that in his hands and he put the brakes on. Moriarty was getting ready to thump him. He's seen a lot of white jerseys <laughs> out there. It was, a great, it was a great pass and a great route, but Ortega just held up a little bit. I can't blame him. Moriarty was coming full steam ahead. The ball floated a little bit there. Yeah. And, uh, the receiver, or defenders were all over it. Ortega's going to come out after that play. With two wide receivers to the far side. Now uh, Yanez is going to go way out to the far side. We're do another quarterback keeper to the left side there. Edson's going to gain about two. And Krieger in on top, third along two. with some other help. Third down and eight. Third down and eight for the Mustangs. Just under Clock. five minutes to go in the third quarter, seven to seven still. Ortega is going to check back into the game. Okay. Replacing number really nine, Leo out. Luna. Oh, Luna, excuse me. Fort Morgan student section. Pretty rowdy tonight. Edson's going to roll to his left, looking for a receiver. He's going to take off and run. 
nice little side step. It's going to get the first down at about the really tall 43-yard line. About the 42. Dunker on the stop. Edson picking up about 12 First yards. Down. That was a stop the beat diggers needed to make. And that was. Now they got to do it all over again. Edson leading rusher for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Roughly unofficially. 35 yards on five carries. Averaging seven yards a carry. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is. We'll go to the far side. Mustangs headed to our right, which is kind of south and east. And they're Under on center. The they have heard look there. He's going to turn around and hand it off to his fullback, who's going to barrel for about four yards. I don't know what number that was. That 75 was blocking in the middle there. It was Nick Norris. Spotted at the 47. Number 12, Kill Lanford for the Mustangs. He's going to come back in, be the deep back. Has a receiver out wide to his left. Going to go under center again. Going to turn around and try the keeper. And he's going to do that little wiggle dance move again and pick up another yeah, first down. A 10 yard carry for Edson. Looks like the defensive line is not holding their position. No. You need to make good tackles, too. They're, they're biting on the fake. Dominic Osveros had a shot at him, but Edson a little shimmy there to get away. They're in beat digger territory at the 44 and a half yard line. Here comes all the waving and jumping around and hand signals. Kale Langford still in the backfield for the Mustangs. It's an under center again. Tega came in motion a little bit. He's going to roll out to his right and find number 40. Cardenas is going to have to make this tackle here. Side steps Cardenas. Nick Wellen come up from behind along with Moriarty to make the tackle. Cardenas is pounding the ground. He knew he should have had that tackle. Ernie Sandoval was number 40 for the Mustangs. First and 10 for the Mustangs. And they're at the 20. About a 25-yard catch for Sandoval from Edson. It. They're 23 yard line, 24 yeah. yard line. Can't see the ball for the Mustangs. Scoreboard says 24. We'll go with them. Ortega out to the far side. Going to go into I formation. Ernie Sandoval back in the fullback. Going to turn around and hand it off to Kale Langford, who's going to be wrapped up by Hondo. Great leg tackle, Langford form tackle. Hondo comes up tackle. limping a little he's bit. That's not good. Yards. That he's isn't good at all. He's not going to go out. He's just <laughs> hopping around a little bit. And Still second and 10 for the Mustangs from the Beat Digger 25 yard line. Number 22 for the Mustangs, Malachi Giannis. He's going to check back into the game. He's going to be your receiver to the far left. Ortega, number 25, is going to be to the far right. Edson's going to drop back in that pistol formation with Langford behind him. going to turn around and hand it to Langford. Langford's going to come up the right side. Going to pick up about seven yards there. Seawall right with the tackle. Across the 20 yard line. On the tackle. Mustangs are driving here on the beat diggers. Two. Third and three for the Mustangs. Mustangs changed up at halftime on quite a bit of their stuff. So. Yep. And here they get down in the red zone. The Mustangs bring in Briggs Wheatley again to be their quarterback. Kind of an interesting offense, but it's working for them so far. Langford to deep back. Ortega comes in motion left or right to left. Wheatley's going to fake the handoff to him and take it up the middle and Wheatley on the turn corner. for six yeah. or seven yards. Well, he's going to pick up the him. first down. It's going to be first and goal for the Mustangs. The That's a Mustang. First down and goal. Clock's going to keep running. Almost 30 seconds left in this third quarter. Mustangs driving. Getting the play. Briggs Wheatley still your quarterback. From about the call it eight yard line. Gonna turn around, hand it off to Kale Langford. Kale Langford's gonna bang it up the middle. Good blocking by the Mustang. They just opened up the whole middle. Great blocking up the middle. Kale Langford, eight yard touchdown run. Briggs Wheatley doing a great job running that red zone offense. The Mustangs are gonna do their weird Extra point, jaunting around formation. It's in the holder, Cordona the kicker. Oh, and I think the beat diggers just jumped off sides. Believe it or not, folks, off sides. I stand corrected. Somebody offsides must on, have moved. Huh? Off sides on the Fort Morgan Mustang. It's going to move him five yards back. Still going to go for the extra point, or, or the kick. Got a 20-yard kick for Cordona. He bangs it through. 
Extra point good from Cordona. That would have been good from 30-35. Okay. There we go again. Takes the lead and it scares <laughs> Rob again. <laughs> the well, cannon. Shakes the whole building. It does. Uh, shakes the building. The stands probably shakes the field. 11.9 seconds left here in the third quarter. Let's see if uh, the beat diggers can't get another uh, big run good back. run back from Cardenas or Krieger. AC Ice, crystal clear ice, good for any drink and any time of the year. You can pick up AC Ice at any local grocery store or convenience store in northeast Colorado today. Really appreciate AC Ice in the dog days of summer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're all over the northeastern Colorado, too. Yeah. The nice part about it, they call that a food product. And yeah. They, they process it that way, too, yeah. so you know it's good. Up to date on it's not a health codes and not a kind of just an old regular ice deal back in the back of somebody's kitchen. (laughs) No, it's it's all it's all great. Cordona's going to kick off from the 40 yard line, our left to right, north to south. Line up Krieger and Cardenas back to kick. It's going to go to Cardenas again. He's going to field it about the 20 yard line. Let's see if he can make something happen here. He's going to come up the middle. He's going to try and break free. Gets thumped by the kicker, and he's going to be close to the 50-yard line, brought down at about the 48 of the Brush Beat Diggers. Another great run back. Beat Diggers do a really good job of blocking on their kick returns there. Got a nice lane right up the middle. But, uh, there's a little too many Mustangs in the way there. Yeah. But with uh, 4.9 seconds in the third quarter, the Beat Diggers are... Break the huddle, Cardenas, far left, Luke Seawald tight end to the left. 51 yards from tying it up. And turn around, hand it off to Nick Wellen. Nick Wellen's going to come around, get down about the 51-yard line, two-yard carry. So that'll be it for the third quarter. Well, on the carry. It Mustangs 14, Beat Diggers 7. We'll be back in a moment on 1010 KSIR, the Eastern Plains Sports Network. That's the end of the third. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler Carmen alongside Rob Hastings from Fort Morgan, Colorado tonight as Mustangs have taken a 14-7 lead over the Brush Beat Diggers. They have flipped into the field, though it doesn't really matter. Beat Diggers are going to start this fourth quarter 49 yards away from Tying it up, hopefully. Hondo's going to take the under center handoff or uh, snap and turn around and pitch it to Krieger, who's going to pick up right about side. five yards. Going to move it to about the 44 yard line. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. Marquez and Redding on the tackle. They are. They're going to give him six. Yeah, it looks third like about third and three. three long third. The new number for us tonight is Gary Kimmel Rouge. Boy, a sophomore. He's going to be our far right receiver. Moriarty's going to be the tight end for the right side. Luke Seawald on the left. Hondo under center. Krieger and Wellen get in the backfield. He's going to turn around and hand it off Nick Wellen off the right side. And Wellen's going to pick up, give him two yards there. Wellen on the carry, pulled down there. Called the 41 yard line, long need fourth a, and one. Yeah, need a good yard to get that first down. They're going to mark it Slide less than a short yard. yard. Yeah. 14 7, Mustangs in the lead. That last carry gave Wellen 11, 11 carries on the night. Edgar Escalante brings a play in, he'll come to the near side. Pete Diggers at the near side has marks. Moriarty, the tight end. Fort Morgan crowd gets loud again. Fourth and one for the Diggers. Oh, he's going to turn around and fumble the snap. Looks like the Mustangs are going to have this. Uh, Mustang, or Mustangs taking advantage of the beat diggers' mistakes. Four not turnovers. Good this second half. That's two turnovers now by the diggers that have given the Mustangs their best field position of the game. They're going to start from their own, call it 42-yard line. And they'll head to our left, which is kind of the north and east, or west. 10 Mustangs. The so Mustangs are going to take back over. Edson, number seven, back in at quarterback for the Mustangs. McCoy is running back. Caden, a senior for the Mustangs. Malkai, Giannis, and Ortega. Ernie Sanders, the ball in the slot. Yeah. The receivers to the far right. Take the snap out of the pistol, turn around, hand it to McCoy. McCoy's got a big hole up the left side. McCoy's going to cut it back. He's weaving and bobbing all his way to the 30-yard line. We're going to give him a couple more. He's going to take it to the 28-yard line of the Brush Beat Diggers. That's a Mustang first down. 
Maltos limping a little bit again. I think he's going to come out, maybe. I don't maybe, know. yep. He's going to hobble his way to the sideline. He's running pretty good. I don't know. It's maybe cramping up a little bit. Maybe just twisted it a little bit. And we're going to have a timeout here. Timeout. Brush is going to take their final timeout, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. 10-11 to go in the game. Down by seven. But the Mustangs with a huge play here. Picked up roughly 30 yards on that run by McCoy. Had a huge hole at the left side between his guard and tackle and took advantage of it. With that, he becomes their leading rusher. Pushing 50 yards on the night for Levi McCoy. The first half, uh, Lance Switz play calling was working very well. And the kids executed it well. The second half, so a whole different story. Flipped over to the Mustangs uh, executing their plays well. Hondo on the far sideline. Looks like he's stretching his hammy out. Okay. I think you're right, Robbie. Might just be cramping up a little bit. Yeah, it is. He's going to go way to the far side. Mustangs headed to our left. Ortega's going to be <laughs> far left. Ortega. Out. They're on the left hash. Edson's going to take the pistol snap. Ortega's going to come in motion. They're going to hand it up the middle again. That's McCoy again. He's going to cut back. He's going to make it down. He's going to break the tackle. He's going to take it in for the touchdown. <laughs> Another 20 plus yard touchdown. 26 run. yard line. Touchdown for the Mustangs. McCoy breaking about three tackles on his way there, and the Diggers have an injured player on the field. Not sure who that is. Yeah, I can't see the number on him. But they had a little pitch to the near side. And McCoy's quick. And McCoy took it to the house. Had the beat diggers searching for air instead of uh, tackles. While they're checking out the injured diggers player, we'll take a quick 30-second break. Come right back on 1010 KSIR. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Tyler Carmen alongside Rob Hastings. Uh, the injured player for the Diggers was number 34, Jace Krieger. He's not putting any weight on that left leg of his. We'll uh, keep a close eye on that. Uh, our starting quarterback for the Diggers, Hondo, he's getting his hamstring still stretched out. Four more Mustangs just ran it in from 26 yards out. Levi McCoy, they're going to try for the extra point. And Cordona's going to... Miss wide left on that one, so extra point no good for the Mustangs. They still go up 20-7 to seven with 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Diggers are going to have to get another good return. And if folks, I'm sure you heard that the cannon didn't get robbed that time. A little bit, a little bit. He didn't jump. He didn't jump this time. <laughs> okay, let's head back for a short 30-second timeout. And a station ID on the Eastern Plains Sport Network. KSIR. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, to 1010 KSIR in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. I am Tyler Carmen alongside Rob Hastings tonight. Fort Morgan Mustangs just scored their third touchdown on the night but missed the extra point. Getting ready to kick off from the 40-yard line south to north, our right to left. He's going to kick it short a little bit. That's going to bounce out of bounds. That's going to be a flag on the Mustangs kickoff. This is going to give the beat diggers better field position. Uh, bounced out on the far side about the 25 yard or maybe even the 15 yard line. Cardenas and Wellen back to receive that Krieger. Can't tell if he's still on the side. I think good news for the diggers. Hondo's going to be back in the game as the quarterback. I think they had Krieger's shoe off, so I don't know if he got stomped down or something happened out there. They had to carry him off. They're going to place this at the Beat Digger 35-yard line. Looking from the center of the field. Cardenas and Wellen, the running backs. It's going to be another out route. And he's going to throw it a little too far wide for Cardenas. The late flag come in. I don't know if that's in the holding. Two the of them, I think. Cardenas falls incomplete. Lopez on the cover. Potential. What? Oh, roughing the passer. Oh, roughing the passer. That should be a 10-yard uh, penalty on the Mustangs. Or is it 15? I'm going to know in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. High school yeah. rules, I keep watching the they're rules, and this. they're different. They're walking this all the way to do the 50-yard line. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Big for the beat diggers. They're going to start this drive now, basically. From the 50-yard line, first and 10. Cardenas is going to bring the play in. 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Mustangs lead 20-7. to Hondo under center. Looking long. 
Going deep again for Cardenas oh. and almost had a beautiful one-handed catch. Had his left hand on it down the sideline. Would have had it about the 20-yard line, but Hondo again, just a hair too strong. Must have ate his Wheaties this morning. Yeah, there was a, just right. A little hand fighting going on between the wide receiver and the defender. Well, I think the refs made it pretty obvious earlier that they're going to let defensive backs get away with pretty much anything. <laughs> that they had one that, in the end zone. They had that, I'm going to go ahead and call it a blown call there in the end zone. A tackle in the end zone on a pass. Just turn around. Take the hand or Ooh. take the snap and hand off Nick Wellen. Nick Wellen, Wellen maybe the half a yard. Who's that big 52? Put him down hard. That's Michael Yanez. He's a junior, number 52. Not too many people stand well up and knock him backwards. No, that is but, a big boy down there, though. Yeah, he's loaded. <laughs> Escalante to the near side. Taking place in the backfield alongside Wellen after Krieger uh, went down as number 16. He's going to take the handoff right up the middle, and there he goes. Jackson right. Dunker's going to get all the way to the 30-yard line. Wow. <laughs> Great play. Nice 20-yard <laughs> run from Jackson right. Dunker. It's kind of like a little delay there in the way he went. Pulled down at the 30-yard line. Ernie Dunker the also a junior for the Beaters. Jackson down. Dunker. Cardenas is going to come up far right. Takes a snap, turns around, hands it off to the right side for Nick Wellen. Nick Wellen's going to pound his way for about four yards. Wellen on the carry. The big 75 on top of him again, Nick Norris. He's not real wide, but he's tall. He's Lanky. tall. He looks intimidating. Escalante checking back into the game, bringing the play in. Beat Diggers down 20 to 7 with 8.17 and running on the clock. You need to score and score quick. And then do it all over again. Escalante is going to come in motion right to left. Right behind Hondo. He's going to take snap. Turn around. Hand it off to, I believe it was Dunker Ooh. again. We've got a late flag coming Check in there at the end of the play. The We've got a big line, my, lineman for the beat diggers is laying flat there. Going to call holding on the diggers. It's going to take uh -oh. him back. Holding on the diggers. He's going to go from the 25-yard line. Going to walk him back 10 yards. He's had a pretty clean first half, but the second half has been pretty sloppy. Penalties have hindered them for sure. Penalties and turnovers really taking their toll on the diggers right now. So Now we've got a second and 15 trying to get to the 20-yard line. Starting at the 35. Cardenas checking back into the game for Escalante. Cardenas far right, Hondo under center. Dunker and Wellen in the backfield. Turn around, fake the handoff. Now he's looking. He was looking to his right for Dunker coming out of the backfield. Had a little bit of a rush on there. If he would have looked left, he had Seawald running a post route. Would have taken a heck of a throw, but had a better chance, I think, of hitting him than Dunker coming out of the backfield. Pretty good rush on him there. Third and 15 for the Beat Diggers. 7.29 on the clock. Kind of do or die here. Eric Gable Reese back in. At least that's the number that's there. Time for Lance Schwent to dial up a, a heck of a play call here. Luke Seawall is on the far right. Going to draw back to pass. That's who he's looking for. Seawall, he's going to turn around and uh -oh. oh, that's going to cost them. That's going to be a that's <laughs> that's going to be a saving grace for the diggers. That Hondo was very late. Looking, yeah. Hondo was looking for uh, Jackson Dunker out the right side. Jackson Dunker dropped the pass. Play was ended. Four Morgan Mustang come in and absolutely dropped him. They're going to throw the flag. This is going to be a 15 yard penalty on the Mustangs. We got drilled. The ball was way dead. We can't hit that defenseless re receiver. No, no, defenseless receiver. Ball was on the ground. Sometimes it's hard for the defender to see those things, but I think it was pretty clear there. Uh, he was about three steps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty clear. Pretty clear on behalf of, of uh, from our vantage point anyway. So back to the 20-yard line and a first down. Big help for the diggers there. Let's see what rabbit maybe Lance can uh, pull, pull out of his hat there. The diggers at the near side hash mark right here by the Fort Morgan the coach Fort Morgan. is still pleading his case for that one, much like Lance Schwent did earlier. But yeah. To no avail. White Hat's going to say roll the clock, and here we go. Takes this handoff under center. Turn a hand to Wellen. Wellen's going to lose a yard, maybe two. 
number 40 is really happy. That's Ernie Sandoval. One of them in there on that tackle. Takes more than one to bring down Nick Welling. Yeah, he was trying to trying to make a little cut back and got caught in the middle of the cut. Took all his power away from him. The size of number 11 looks like Caden Swint, but yeah. <laughs> it's nah, not what's is, on the program. That is Eric Gable Rich. He's going to be far left. He's going to turn around, and Hondo's going to keep this around the left side. He's going to pick up. Oh, give him three yards. He's going to get inside the 20. Maybe just two yards there. It's going to be third and nine. From Looked the like that play was opening up, but it closed up in a hurry. So now, now we've we got, got another up. injured player. That's Hondo. Well, Hondo tries to get that hamstring straightened out. We'll take a quick 30-second break. Come right back on 1010 KSIR in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to 1010 KSIR in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. I am Tyler Carmen alongside Rob Hastings tonight. Brush Beat Diggers are down 20-7. to Hondo is just being walked off the field, starting quarterback for the Beat Diggers. Two of the best players on the Beat Digger team was carried off yeah. visually by the coaches and uh, also uh, Ty Griffith out with the... Ty Griffith earlier in the game, first quarter, went out with his shoulder, went ahead, checked out, broke his collarbone, so sending, uh, sending some good vibes and prayers his way tonight. Okay, let's see. You got the number on a new quarterback? I think it's Cardenas. He's pretty handy. It is going to be number six, Cardenas. He's going to take the handoff. And uh, or take the snap rather and hand it off inside. Picked up, well up the two or three yards for Nick Wellen. He's going to call it fourth and six for the beat diggers. Escalante is going to check back into the game, relieving Rish, Gable Rish, number 11. Break the huddle. We're going to go tight formation. Luke Seawald is going to split out wide left. Poor Morgan crowd making sure that their presence is known and Cardenas has got an open man. Moriarty is going to make the catch. I think he's going to have the first he's down gonna, at he the is, five. He is. He's going to have the first down so, inside the five-yard line. Moriarty had to come back and go down to his knees. Cardenas really lofted that up there, but first down, nevertheless, right at the five-yard line for the brush beat diggers. Kind of fluttered right to the right point. It did. Beat diggers still alive. Banged up, but... Clock running, 4.56. Number 33 for your brush speed diggers. Hunter Dunn's going to be split out wide left this time. Dunker and Wellen in the backfield. Cardenas under center. Takes the snap, turns around, hands it to Nick Wellen. Nick Wellen's going to be brought down for a loss of four yards. Yeah, yeah, just bulldog down by, uh, bulldog by number 75, Nick Norris. Big defensive end for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Probably the tallest guy out there. I was just thinking the same thing. Do we have a height for that kid? No, they don't. No, have they don't have a height. I'm gonna take a guess. Ballpark. Six three. At least, yeah. Yeah. Tall kid. Pretty good out there on the edge. They haven't ran to the right side very often and with much success tonight. Nick Norris is probably a reason why Escalante number eighty is gonna split way wide left. Cardenas is going to turn around. And he's going to have to scramble to his left and hook this thing up. And he oh, hooked it up and picked off by the Fort Morgan Mustang. He was running to his left, trying to throw it back before Fernando Marquez is going to make that interception right at the goal line, if not the one yard line. And that was another turnover for the Mustangs. That was very devastating. Cardenas with the interception. Marquez picking him off. So now the Diggers are going to have to play one heck of a defensive series here to try and get the ball back. And time enough to score twice. First down and 10 for the Fort Morgan Mustangs inside their own five yard line. Let's see if they can do anything here. They're just trying to chew up clock at this point. Uh-oh, we diggers might have come across. Had to, Diggers need to see that one coming back up inside. You know, they're going to try and get a hard count, get you a jump off sides, give them a little bit more breathing room. Move it up five. They're going to move this up seven, five yards. Five. 21st Century Equipment, all the John Deere equipment for your operation is at 21st Century Equipment in Sterling and Fort Morgan. 
Another five yards for the Mustangs. They're going to start first and five from the ten. Going with two tight ends. He's going to run right up the middle. Edson's going to keep this up the middle. I apologize. That is not Edson. That is Briggs Wheatley. He's going to take it up the middle for about 15 yards. They kind of switch those guys around. Only about an 11 yard gang. I apologize. For Briggs Wheatley. 20 to 7. Mustangs in the lead. Coming. Nick Norris is going to kind of limp off the field. Wheatley's going to take the pistol formation snap, turn around, and hand it off. Number 24, that's Levi McCoy again. He's going to keep those legs turning to the 25 yard line. McCoy on the carry. They didn't let him get to the outside this time. No, they didn't. It's going to be Bottom second down or short. They picked up about nine and a half yards. That is the Mustang first down. The beat diggers are oh, wearing down a little bit. They're going to go ahead and give them the first down. Oh, yeah. too. Ten yard run for Levi McCoy. The uh, call it 26 yard line just across the 25 of the Mustangs. Ortega split wide left. Got to figure they're just going to keep it on the ground here. Briggs is going to take another it's keeper. He got, got away with the big hole. Just <laughs> that's a huge hole on the left side. And threw the tackle out of the way. That's going to be that flag then. I would imagine flag at the 40-yard line. Oh, Should okay. take the Mustang back. The flag. Oh, no, they're pointing at Bryce. Oh, no. Wheatley ran out at about the 45-yard line. Face mask on brush. Face mask on the diggers. So that's going to tack on to a big play there. Uh, we... That is a face mask call. Five, two fifty one left in the game. We're going to place it at about the forty nine and a half yard line of the Mustangs. Call the fifty. First down. Under three minutes to go. Time becoming a definite factor for the beat diggers. Clock winding after the penalty. Briggs Wheatley going to let the play clock wind all the way down. She was as much time off that clock as he can. Ortega's going to come in motion. Going to turn around and hand it off to Kale Langford. Langford's going to pick up about four yards, go down about the 46-yard line. Nice to block in there by Adam Cordona, number 80. Sealed off that run. Call 47-yard line. Ortega's going to be wide right. Langford in the backfield behind Briggs Wheatley. Chewing as much time off that clock as they can. All the way down to a minute, 40 seconds. His fingers are getting numb. Or that. Turns around, hands it yeah, off to Langford, up the middle. Langford running hard. Takes it down to the 30, off 38 the yard line. The Run right over, over one of the beat diggers. It's another first down for the Mustangs. Beat diggers out of timeouts. You know, my granddaughter's over here in the band. I'm going to get a lot of garbage from her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Savannah's not going to let me live this down here. Okay. Well, B. Diggers putting up a better fight than last year. 42-7 to seven Mustangs over the Diggers last year. And Mustangs are going to line up in the victory formation here. B. Diggers out of timeouts. Can't stop it. Right here at a minute on the clock. Paul Morgan crowd starting to stand up and cheer. They know that. Mustangs have this one all but sealed together. Caden Edson kneels down. Just a reminder, Colorado Preps scoreboard show with Kevin Schaefer will air at 9.30 tonight on 1010 KSAR following our Brush Beat Digger football. That will happen all throughout the 2019 season. Nick Norris uh, came off the field limping there earlier, but he's back on the field for the Mustangs. And take another kneel down here. And that should do it. That will do it in 20 seconds. The clock is going to continue to wind. The Fort Morgan Mustangs are going to win this one over their Morgan County rival, Beat Rush Beat Diggers, 20 to 7. Players are going to line up and shake hands. Beat Diggers had them in the first half, but oh, there goes that cannon again. again. I've seen the fire first, that it didn't help so much. Yeah. There you go. Cannon down there. On the I think I got a bigger cannon than they used to have. <laughs> down there on the north end zone, kind of kind of blinded by it. Can't see it. I can't see when it goes off. Players are going to shake hands here. Fort Morgan going to come away with a hard-fought win. Turnovers really killed the brush beat diggers tonight. A couple of fumbles and a couple of interceptions. Well, now they can go back to their own uh, 
division. And we'll get, get a week off. We'll, we'll be doing our uh, football next week, but then we'll be back the 20th, and that will we'll be going. Where did that go here? Uh, be going to Alliance, uh, Nebraska. Uh, no, Alliance is coming here. Oh, thank right. goodness. Alliance 148 is. miles. <laughs> <laughs> that's a long 148 that, miles a long, on a Friday night. Yeah, through Nebraska of all places. Uh, yeah, it's, it's way Fort up Morgan up. opens up their season now. One and oh, they'll take on Lutheran, Lutheran at Lutheran next week. They won. Wait, wait a minute, that was last last year's schedule. I'm sorry. Uh oh, I put the wrong one up there. Did Sorry you? about that. Oh, Tyler. they did. They did. We didn't get to that one. Come on, Rob. Where'd you do it? You're well, play earlier, somewhere here. earlier in the week, Coach Lance Schwent spoke with John Beltran and discussed what uh, what went right, what went wrong last week against the Wiggins Tigers. He, uh, he said he had more mistakes than expected uh, last week, and I would say that through the first half of this game against Fort Morgan Mustangs, those mistakes were cleaned up and were, were definitely better uh, than, than that stinking pesky second half reared its ugly head. And <laughs> it started with the first half kickoff. Yep. The beat diggers fumbled it and gave Mustangs a great field position. Yep, and then uh, that was a 34-yard line. Cardenas redeemed himself. Definitely. Oh, no, Cardenas, I apologize. Cardenas not the one that fumbled that uh, second half kickoff. But after that, the next two kickoffs from the Fort Morgan Mustangs, the, the Brush Beat Diggers were able to take them down quite a ways and get great field position. But Pondo had a fumbled snap, and Cardenas had an interception late in the game that pretty much sealed the win for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Well, the Beat Diggers scored first at 11 7 in the uh, second quarter. Uh, 16 yard pass from. Uh, Pondo to uh, Krieger. No. Luke, Luke Seawall. Seawall. Luke Seawall had Seawall. a touchdown catch. And the extra point was good to make it 7-0. That held up until the second half. And that one was at 9-0-9 when Wheatley run over for the uh, first touchdown for the Mustangs. The extra point was good. And then in the, also in the third quarter with 11.9 seconds left, it was Cale Langford going 10 yards, and it made it 13 to 7, and 14 to 7 with the extra point. And then that uh, great runs by uh, McCoy, 26-yard run for their last touchdown to make it 20 to 7, and that's how we ended up tonight. The extra point wasn't any good, but the Mustangs over the beat diggers, 20 to 7. Yeah, Levi McCoy, 74 yards on eight carries in that big touchdown to really seal the game off there towards the end of the game. Leading rusher for the brush beat diggers was Nick Wellen. He had 14 carries for 50 yards unofficially. Jackson Dunker also had a nice 20-yard carry in relief of uh, Krieger after he went down. Moriarty had the big reception for the uh, Brush Beat Diggers at 25 and a 10-yard reception. 35 yards and two receptions for him. Luke Seawald had the one touchdown reception. Okay, yeah, and this is 1010KSIR, Brushport Morgan, and KSIR.com. So 